so my name is Becky Crossley. I'm a first year DPhil student in the Wolfson Centre for Mathematical Biology here in the Math Institute in Oxford. So I guess in really simple terms, what I do is build models for how cells migrate together, taking into account for the fact that cells can change between different cell types. Well, the, the big hope is that if we can build a more accurate model for how cells develop and there's people working at the other end to see how to stop cells migrating and invading spaces so well, then we might be able to use that knowledge and these models to build better treatment for cancers further down the line. I most enjoy kind of the difference in maths that you get to see, although you might be doing a lot of the same sort of procedures whilst you're testing things and working, then actually I get a lot of time coding and doing maths by hand and checking things, but also reading papers and my group's great. So interacting with everybody in my research group is really good as well. My name is Jared, and I'm a third year DPhil student in number theory. Number theory in general kind of splits along the lines of either algebraic techniques or analytic techniques, and I'm more on the analytic side. Uh, and one of the things I'm interested in is things to do with prime numbers and uh, related uh, multiplicative structures. So for example, uh, looking at sieve methods, uh, which are uh, techniques that go all the way back to ancient Greece. Uh, there are also uh, more recent uh, results involving uh, more exotic objects like uh, automorphic forms, and uh, there are also combinatorial structures. Uh, more recently, I've been looking at things like primitive sets. So on the one hand, they're defined uh, by just a very simple uh, operation of multiplication, but they seem to have some very uh, deep structures related to them, and there are still a bunch of mysteries uh, that we don't understand uh, about the primes. Uh, and that, that's very motivating to me. I'm Alice, I'm a fourth year DPhil student, and I do research in the area of geometric group theory. So geometric group theory is about taking these really abstract objects called groups, and turning them into geometric objects that we um, can study a lot more concretely. My favourite thing is just that I really like you know, geometric objects, I really like spaces, um, metrics, uh, that kind of thing, looking at shapes, and I get to do that and uh, prove things about groups just from doing that. I mean, most days I'm uh, mostly at this desk, um, I'm reading papers, um, at the moment, I'm trying to write my thesis. I'm about a week and a half from submitting it. Um, so there's a lot of uh, reading through that and doing a lot of editing.